Hey, everyone, how's it going? So I have a product here that I want to share with you all. So this is from Dry Protective. If you've been following this channel, you know that we apply paint protection fill for our full front as well as for the full body. And you save about 70% in costs alone if you do it yourself. So this company is Dry Protective. They have their own Defense Plus paint protection film that they're currently selling for pre-cut kits that you can go home and install it yourself. So what you need is basically just three spray bottles. One for the slip solution. That's what you use to move the film around and puzzle it into your panel. Once you've done that, you can tack it down on each corner to anchor it down. So that's where your, your reference point will be. And if you check out our previous video, I'll also link it in the description just to show you how to install it. Also, videos to dry protective and remember to follow them for more tutorials. We also have a 70% alcohol bottle, so isopropanol. So that is to clean off any of the grime, grease, wax, or sealant that you may have on your paint before applying the film. And lastly, you just need a squeegee. That's all you need. So the squeegee is specifically for paint protection film. And you can get these from Dry Protective as well, or purchase them at your local hardware store or even online. So what we'll be sharing with you today is how this Defense Plus paint protection film looks. This is our first time getting our hands on this, and we wanna show you how the sample looks like We'll be installing this on the A pillar on this Model 3. We did install the film on the front of this Model 3 ourselves, the fenders, as well as the bumper and the front. Okay. In addition, we also install it on the entire Model Y. So, my suggestion is if you don't want to pay $2,000 or even $6,000 to wrap your whole entire vehicle check out dry protective and i'll link their website and plug them in the description of this video so you can see where you can purchase them you can customize it for partial front or the full front so partial front covers about half the fender the full bumper half of the front so about 30 to 40 percent from tip to the middle part of the front. I do recommend if you're gonna protect your front end, do the full front. So that covers the bumper again, the full fender all the way down to your front doors and the full hood, okay? As well as your mirror caps. So the partial does cover the mirror caps too. That's what I recommend. And if you're in the States, you can benefit from the conversion rate because this is a Canadian company and you can get an additional 20 to 30% depending on how strong the dollar is. To cover the full front of a Tesla vehicle, you're looking at about $600 after the conversion as well as using our promo code, which gives you additional 20% off. For a partial, you're looking at three to $400, which is a steal compared to outside video partial is about nine hundred to a thousand dollar just for the partial and for the full front you're looking at close to two thousand dollar right now and if you want to do the whole car you're looking at six thousand dollar and i see paint protection film more of a screen protector for your phone you want to start with a flat piece first and then once you get comfortable on how to apply it the bumper should be last the bumper is probably the most difficult one because you do have to stretch it about one inch or so on on each end but once you anchor it down it's pretty easy to do you just have to be patient but otherwise all the other panel are so easy to install i mean i don't have any experience in installing paint protection film but i started small i started with the fender as well as the mirror caps and then once i got comfortable with that i work on the doors the front and then the bumper. So they do sell for the entire vehicle as well. I would recommend at the minimum getting the full front if you have a Tesla vehicle. The reason why is because there is no grill in the front of the Model S, S, X, or 3. 
So you want to have at least some protection there because any rock that hits the front end here, it will automatically chip. No matter how small or big, it will chip your paint. So the paint protection film will prevent that. It's also self heal and he provides a 10 year warranty. So that's definitely a competitive space. And if you have any burnt dropping, you don't have to wash it right away. You can leave it in there for weeks. It's not going to do anything to the paint. In addition, if somebody accidentally walked by and key your car, it will self heal. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sample kit that they sent us and the A pillar. So it comes in the tube like this and shipment is fairly quick. If you're in the state, you probably get this within a week or so. It comes in rolls. He does wrap it. Or shrink wrap it and this is a sample film so we'll check out the thickness of that and this is the a pillar that he sent us to install just to show you how easy it is so let's go ahead and unwrap this and show you how it looks like so if you're wondering why you need paint protection film so here's an example you can see here there's a rock chip that actually penetrate into the paint there's another rock chip there and this is just the a panel so so this is another rock chip right there and this is metal so here's a magnet it sticks to it so that's metal this is metal this is aluminum so the front should be safe but then you, you don't want rock chip hitting it it's gonna doesn't look good with the vehicle especially later you try to reseal it bumper is not metal but it will eat up this very quick my concern is, you know, these panels that are metal, if you get big rocks that will penetrate the paint, the clear coat and eats into your metal, eventually you'll see rust. This left side A pillar. Make sure you have clean hands. And what you want to do first is go ahead and wet the surface of the paint protection film. So you want to wet the surface with slip solution. So go ahead, wet the surface, wet your hands. You want everything as soaked as possible. And as you peel this off, as you peel the film off, wet the back with the slip solution. As you continue to peel, continue to wet. Okay, and keep everything wet. And this is the A pillar. Wet the surface with the slip solution. Okay? You want to wet the surface with the slip solution. You want to wet the film with the slip solution. Just wet everything with the slip solution. So once you have it on the surface of the paint, go ahead and start moving it around. Lift up if you need to. So you have maybe about five minutes or so before it starts drying up. Now I am in a warmer climate, about 70, 80 degrees. So that's why it dries up quicker. So how I like to do this is line it up with the larger edge. So this part here, so you can see the film. I can easily lift this up. So you want to puzzle this in just like so and just make sure it aligns with the other side of the seam. So any of the panel gaps that you see, you want to move it closer to the edge. So you don't want a lot of overhang, okay? Because you don't want it lifting up. So you want to move it as much as possible where there's no overhang. Of course, there are cut where you can flap it down, but this is not one of them. Uh, so depending on which panel you're working on, on the doors, there are overhang where you can actually curve it over. So for this one, it sits flat like a, like a puzzle. So make sure you align it correctly. And once you align it, you're gonna anchor it down with the, with the tack solution. So you're gonna lift this up Spray in the bottom, anchor it down, and then start squeezing it upward. You want to anchor it down. So I just anchor it down on the one side. Okay. 
Okay, so you want to push the water out or the slip solution out, the tack solution, push it out. Just push out. Okay, this is a lighter vehicle, so it will be a little bit more difficult to see if there's any air bubbles. But just make sure you start from the center and push it out. So you're interested, we'll post a link in the description with all the details where you can find this paint protection film with Defense Plus. Catch you all next time. Remember to subscribe.